Hello and welcome to another update video. Today we want to cover GMX. I don't think I've ever uh, covered it in a, in a public video here, um, but it's a coin that we cover in the channel membership regularly. We so far had three long entry positions here, or at least, how do I, should I call it? Because I'm not telling, telling you to buy or not, but let's rather call it trend reversal areas in which long positions could have been entered. And these would have all worked out nicely. GMX at the moment, one of the most yeah, brutal charts here, yeah. an absolute beast at the moment. Um, of course, we haven't broken above very, very critical resistance here around $60. This is basically, you could say, no all-time high territory. I must be very honest, I'm not sure what this was here, um, if it wasn't a glitch or a fake out or whatever. But I think this area here is quite relevant in terms of critical resistance starting basically at, yeah, maybe... $58, yeah, going all the way up to that wave B high. I'm a bit careful here because some of these long wicks, they do look a little bit unnatural to me. Um, I am here on the Coinex chart, GMX Tether, because um, you can't buy this coin everywhere. Yeah, you can't buy, buy it everywhere. If I look at the KuCoin chart, and that's the reason why I didn't go with the KuCoin chart, um, it's a much shorter chart history. Yeah, um, it could go with Binance. Yes, but I think was the chart history here a bit too short as well. Let me see. So here also we've got the sort of the $60 area, but also here I've got a bit of a, a spike that was started in October. Yeah, October 22. So it's a shorter chart history than, um, than Coinex, which actually started in did, 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 May 22. That, that's why I chose this chart. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've talked about it on the channel membership already. I, I publish um, weekly opportunities updates for channel members. And we had this one here on the radar for a while. We, we started to have it on the radar since we've we've come down here. And I said it will get interesting in this price region between $29 and $16. And we dipped into it. And this was a trend reversal area um, based on the assumption that we moved up here in a wave one. In something like a diagonal pattern, we moved up and we've come back into the support area for a wave two. So the area between the 61.8% retracement and the 88.7% retracement. And this is exactly where we found support and reversed out of it quite impulsively. And um, we do have here a series of one, two setups. And this is generally quite bullish as per Elliott wave, because all these one, two setups require a wave three, a wave four and a wave five. So it's a bit like you know, an extension of waves to the upside. So if we really are now in a third wave to the upside, then let's talk about the target. So the idea is this would be a wave one, this would be a wave two, and we're moving up in a wave three, there will be a four and a five. That's sort of the higher level assumption here. Can give you a target as well. I actually put it on the chart already. This chart is set up. I just need to base it on the latest low here or the last low. This is set up for $100 plus. Yeah, in this wave three, oops, this wave three should actually reach the 1.618 extension at $107. So if we break through critical resistance, obviously we are now below critical resistance, but if we really are in a wave three, we should break it. Looking fundamentally uh, at GMX, it seems like it's an exchange that is getting more and more popular. Um, yeah, I haven't really used it yet, so I need to, I need to try that. Actually, I'm very interested in it. Um, but generally, you know, this is starting to look really, really good. There's a few things that you can do now. So we assume we are now in a third wave to the upside. We can, first of all, add a trend line. So first of all, if we establish, are we in an uptrend or a downtrend? Well, we are very clearly in an uptrend, right? We've made higher highs here along the way, and we've made lower highs along, uh, lower, no, sorry, higher lows along the way as well. And we've just broken above this descending trend line, resistance line. It's a line that I talked about in the, to the channel members a few days ago. If this breaks, we are probably set up for higher. Next resistance would then be this $58 level. That's exactly where we've come to and currently get rejected. So this is obviously what the bulls now need to work with and get, get up, you know, push higher. I did enter a, a long position a few days ago. I've now moved the stop loss to break even, so risk is taken out. Don't want to take any profits yet because this could push much, much higher, but I want to take out the risk. Um, 
because let's be honest, if this trend line breaks, we could come down. I cannot rule out that this obviously still fails because yes, a wave one to the upside, a wave two down and the wave three could be ongoing. But until we really break above this wave one high, which is sort of at $60, $60.50, we don't really have confirmation yet. This could just be an ABC pattern still. Yeah, we don't really have the complete five wave structure yet. But that's obviously part of the game. There is uncertainty here. Yeah? And each of these support areas would have worked out. So um, that's why I moved my stop loss now to break even. Um, we are above the 50 day moving average. So at the moment, everything, you know, is looking good. Yeah, it's a bit of a beast, as I said. Um, and we have put in a series of one, two setups here, one, two, then another one, two and a one, two. And it should really start to move now. If we look at this latest one, two setup here, we could say what would be the target actually for just this wave three. Yeah, we're looking at the 1.618 extension. I mean, if this starts to move, it should take it just this wave three actually to $80. I mean, maybe we will eventually push higher than 100, <clears throat> but we need to see. This is obviously not a very bullish environment in which we're operating at the moment, um, but GMX has serious potential as one of the few coins to move to a new all-time high in the bear market. I think that is quite decent. You always get that with altcoins, you know. New altcoins are coming up. There will be new attractive and interesting altcoins um, when others are just not going to make it in the new bull run. Yeah, the one, Some of the old ones are not going to make it, but new ones are always coming up. So this could be one of these. Um, since we've covered this or started to cover it, the price has pretty much more than doubled. Um, and let's take a look at some of these indicators. So... If we take a look at the relevant ones here, for example, the weekly chart. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't really get a lot of info on the weekly chart. Pretty much useless, really. Um, not really enough chart history. Four day chart, relevant. Yeah, absolutely. Trend still pushing very, very high. Yeah, bullish momentum still ongoing. We're not yet overbought on the four hour chart, uh, four day chart. We had a bullish crossover here back in November. That was one of the buy signals that happened down here in the support area. So this is still pushing. Two day chart also still pushing. Bullish cross over here also in November. Bullish momentum still in the green. Trend lines going up. Daily chart also pushing higher. We are no bullish divergence. So bullish cross over on the RSI on the daily and bullish momentum increasing. So that's all good. The four hour chart even pushing higher as well. So it's all, it's all looking good in my opinion at the moment, yeah. Um, we are a bit overbought on the hourly chart, but the momentum on the MACD is still pushing higher as well. Now, I think it's all about, can we now make it above this resistance? It's really at the key make or break point now. Um, <clears throat> nice accumulation here, possible inverse head and shoulders here as well. With this descending trend line, you could argue this was a bull flag as well or bullish pennant, but it's all about, can we make it now above this $58 level? And then we've got the key one here, that wave one high at $60, $60.50. Those need to break and then we can move much higher. Should this trend line now break to the downside would be not a good sign. I would then wait for a reset lower um, and uh, because then we would probably just have three waves to the upside, to be honest. And uh, we need to push higher here to maintain it. Um, yes, we could still come down a bit lower. I mean, if we look at this particular wave pattern here in the very short term, at the moment it's reasonable to assume we are already in the wave three. But because we haven't taken out the high, <clears throat> this could still be this could still be a larger ABC pattern. We come down once more lower into the yellow support box. What is very important is, even if we break below the trend line, that we do not lose the 44.40 level. And if we lose it, the very last resort for the bulls will be here, the $40.60 level. That wave too low. If that breaks, this is probably not going to make it. Okay, and that's my update about GMX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.